Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSN Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account, 
We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. This has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for clicking on here to Summit City Sports and Diacom. We're coming to you live right here from Bluffton High School as the Adam Central Flying Jets are getting t to take on the Canterbury Cavaliers here in our game number two semi-final contest here against my apologies, the winner will take on the Blackhawk Christian Braves in the sectional number 36 championship game here at Class 2A live here on SummitCitySports.com. Moby, before we get started with our broadcast, we're going to go ahead and thank some of our sponsors here that allow us to come out here and do these ball games here with SummitCitySports.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Summit City Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a friendly family environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. 
Top Shield Tires have been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, realignments, engine diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union and get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch today and start earning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. At Alamilla Contract, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit AlamillaContracting.com. Some of volleyball trains and built to highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with early level skills and a foundation of my skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. We're going to go ahead and turn it on over here to our PA announcer for starting lineups. They're live on SubbitCitySports.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups in the books here for both squads. First, for the visiting on the scoreboard, the Adam Central Flying Jets. They are coming to this one at 15 and 7 on the year. They're going to roll out with number 11, Micah McClure, number 3, Bryson Yergler, number 4, Nick Neuenschwander, number 14, Ethan Brown, and number 25, and Ethan Poling. For the Canterbury Cavaliers, they're going to roll out with number zero, Devin Lewis. Number one, Ashton Dressler. Number two, Will Russell. Number three, Adam Desor. And number 22, and Xander Dressler. The Cavaliers are coming to this one at 9 and 14 on the year. Well, Canterbury is going to start it here with possession. They're going to look for Lewis a lot in this one as he had 22 points in the first game there for Canterbury on Wednesday night. And their win over the Bluffton Tigers 59 to 42 as Adam Central defeated Wabash 66 to 51 to get here as well. So Adam Central here with possession now on the turnover as they look down low, Ether pulling the big fella is gonna go to the line to shoot two here for the Adam Central Flying Jets look for him to be a huge, huge factor with his size inside. Sitting at 6-5, Ethan Poling scored 28 points in the first game there for the Flying Jets. He hits on the first free throw. Therefore, Adam Central will have a shot at another one. Poling second free throw is up and good and gives Adam Central the 2-0 lead. Canterbury will start it here with possession. Lewis with a free throw line jumper gets it to go there. Devin Lewis gets a scoring start at four. Canterbury and we'll go to the line to shoot and one opportunity here for the Cavs. So Lewis gets the first points for the Cavs. He'll go to the line to shoot one and can't convert there on the first free throw. 2-2 two -two our score, seven minutes left to go here in our first quarter of action. Adam Central will bring it the other way. That is your glare with it. Skips far side there, New and and he's gonna get called for the travel. The Cavs will take it the other way off the turnover. 
Canterbury is under second year head coach in Derek Adams. As I mentioned, Canterbury coming into this one at 9 and 14. Adams in his two years at the school is 14 and 29. They'll have possession here now. That is Lewis up top. Far side there, Russell. Russell also played a huge factor in the victory in game number one for the Cavs. Had some outstanding defense and offensive rebounding there for Canterbury. And a nice defensive play there. Lewis down low was partially blocked there. Out of bounds possession will stay here with the Cavs. 2-2, our score, 6-20. Left to go here in our first quarter. Nassor will inbound here for the Cavs. They'll look down low. They kick out. That's Russell with it. He'll have it there, far side wing. Russell comes here near side. They'll look down low there, Nassor. Nassor took too high of a dribble there. Tried to maintain possession. Out of bounds. Possession is going to go to Adam Central. 6-10. Left to go here in our first quarter. This is SummitCitySports.com. Hunter Sosnimer here on your call. Matt Jackson on the camera. We've been here all sectional long. Shout out to Athletic Director and Steve Thompson, an outstanding host here out of Bluffton High School. Russell there on the takeaway. He'll push pace here for the Cavs. Trying to leave it off there to the Nassour. Out of bounds. Possession's going to go to the Flying Jets. And then out of the hands there of Nassour. Well, as I mentioned, Blackhawk Christian. Just got the victory to move on to the sectional championship tomorrow night. As Newich Warner gets the bucket there for Adam Central. Give him two on the night. Two-point lead here for the Flying Jets. Lewis with it down low. Nice dribble. Way to maintain the low dribble there for Devin Lewis to get the bucket and give him his fourth point of the night. All four points coming from Lewis here for the Caps. The three-pointer here on the other end. No good. Just short there for Newich Wander. Rebound comes down. Canterbury now pushing the other way. Lewis will maintain possession here for the Caps at the top of the key. Russell back to Lewis. They skip here for our side to soar with it. Up top to Russell. Nice ball movement here by the Cavs. They look down low, and they're going to get a pushing foul called there on Adam Central. That'll be the team's second foul. The foul is going to fall on at number three there for Adam Central and Bryson Jurgler. The sword will inbound here for Canterbury. Gets it up top here. That is Dressler with it. They skip far side in the corner. The sword, three ball on the way, rattles home off the backboard. Or nope, that is my apologies. Lewis was there on the three ball. He'll have all seven on the night here for Canterbury. Jurgler with the bucket on the other end. Gets his first points of the night here for the Flying Jets. One point lead for the Cavs. Lewis with it at the top of the key. He'll dribble here near side wing. Gets it back here. Another three from Lewis. No good there. Rebound, battle four, and pulling. Able to come away with it. Here for Adam Central. As I mentioned, Poling played the outstanding part there in the win for Adam Central. As Russell on the floor there, nice takeaway. Rebound still battle for, falling on the floor. And Adam Central finally able to win to come with possession. That is McClure. Poling from deep, can't get it to go. Russell comes away here with the rebound for the Cavs. The kick ahead up the floor. Outside here, three ball attempt on the way. It's just short there for Dressler. And rebound saved there. Way to get on the floor there by the Cavs. Maintaining every loose ball here to start it. 340 left to go in our first quarter. Russell with it. He skips far side. Dressler underneath. Kicks back out here to Indersor. Far side wing. He'll come here near side to Russell. Russell. They try to go back to him. Taken away there by McClure. And a foul is going to be called. Michael McClure on the takeaway. Will Russell will pick up the foul. That'll be his first. The team's second. Number 10, Isaac, or excuse me, number 10, Ryan Tesler. And number 22, Isaac Schultz check in here for Adam Central. And they'll have possession. 320 left to go here in our first quarter of action. 7-6, our score. Canterbury out to the one-point lead. The triple down low, nice find there. That's checking in and getting the bucket. Isaac Schultz with the score for the Flying Jets. 
Nasor will bring it up the floor. Far side there, Lewis. Back here up top to Russell. Back to Lewis there, far side wing. He'll triple down low, and he'll leave it to Sanders Wrestler. Nice find there over top to Sore with the spin move. Yep, that's a treble. Good call here by the near side official. And Adam Central will take possession the other way. 250 left to go here in our first quarter. This is SummitCitySports.com. We thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. As we are live at multiple sectionals this weekend. As on the end, pulling gets the bucket there for Adam Central. We're live at the Huntington North at DeKalb. Garrett to end here at Bluffton High School for sectionals as we have been all week long there. And Nassour gets the bucket for the Cavs. And Nassour gets the points there for Canterbury. And here on the other end, that is number 22. And Isaac Schultz checked in at the right time. He is hot four points in a row there for Schultz. 150 left to go here in our first quarter. 12-9 our score. Russell, far side there. That's Lewis. Skips down low. Nice find there. Dressler has it blocked there. Possession's going to stay here with the Cavs. Slaybox in a check-in here for Canterbury. And he'll come in for number three in Adam Nassour. And Canterbury will inbound on the baseline. That'll be Slovak to inbound. They get it in here. Lewis from deep. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Yergler. He'll push pace here for the Flying Jets. 135 left to go. We're in our first quarter. Three-point lead here for Adam Central. They come here in the corner. That's McClure with it. Up top there, getting called for the travel. Nice call there by the near side official. Testers called for the travel. Possession will go to Canterbury. 125 left to go here in our first quarter. Lewis will bring it. As I mentioned, had 22 points in the first game there for Canterbury. Has seven on the night here so far for the Cavs. Turnover possession is going to go to Adam Central. 115 left to go here in our first quarter. McClure will bring it here for the Flying Jets. And off there to pulling. And a nice find down low. Couldn't get the bucket to go. Rebound. Battle for it. They're going to get a foul called. So Isaac Schultz is going to go to the line to shoot two. Here for Adam Central. Lewis picks up his first foul. That'll be the team's third. And Isaac Schultz will go to the line to shoot two. Here for Adam Central. His first free throw is up and gets it to go. Isaac Schultz comes off the bench, has five on the night here for Adam Central. And he'll have a shot at another one here for Adam Central. Second free throw is up and good. Gets him six on the night. It gives Canterbury the five-point lead. One minute now left here to go in our first quarter. Russell here with it now, near side wing. Look up top there to Schlobach. Down low. Nice find. Oh, block there. Nice block by pulling. But Dressler able to maintain possession. Here in the far side there to Russell. Russell dribbling down low. Or excuse me, that's Lewis. Couldn't get it to go. And rebound comes down. Adam Central is pushing the other way. Schultz down low is blocked there by Russell. Nice block by Will Russell, and what do we got here? I don't know what we called here, but we stopped play. 25 seconds now left here to go in our first quarter. 14-9, our score. Russell will bring it here for the Cavs. Russell. Here near side to Shablock. Back to Russell. Russell's to Shablock. 
Up top, Russell now with it. Nice ball movement here. They find Lewis. Lewis will dribble baseline, get underneath his offender, can't get it to go. So Block comes down with the rebound, can't get it to go. Second chance opportunity, hits it at the buzzer. And that'll be the end of our first quarter, 14-11. Our score, we're going to step away here real quick. Come back here live, SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA. Equal. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com here in our second quarter. A three-point lead here for the Flying Jets. 14-11 our score. We're getting set to begin our second quarter of action. As I mentioned, Blackhawk Kirsten did win their first contest, so they'll take on the winner of this one in the Class 2A sectional number 36 championship game tomorrow. Night, 7.30 p.m. start here live on SummitCitySports.com. Well, Adam Central will start it here with possession in our second quarter. The look down low there, New and Schwander. Nice, couldn't get the finger roll lay in to go. Rebound comes down, Canterbury's going to push the other way. Lewis up the floor here, Russell. Russell is fouled. And so will Russell will go to the line to shoot here for Canterbury. Or nope, they're going to call that foul on the floor. So Canterbury will inbound. It's going to be called on at number four, Nick Neuenschwander. That is his first. And Russell will have it here near side. Dribbles around his defender. Couldn't get the finger roll laying to go. Schulbach comes down with the rebound. Couldn't get the second chance opportunity. And rebound comes down. And Adam Central is going to push the other way. Central here with it now. Far side wing there, it's Jurgler. They look down low and a takeaway here by Lewis. Lewis running the floor, leaves it off. Russell gets the lay in to go there for the Cavs. Steal in transition there, and Russell gets the bucket there for Canterbury. Spin move here. They leave it out. Lewis, three ball on the way. Just short. Rebound battled for. And Adam Central comes away here with it. They're pushing up the floor here. Drawing the end one. That's Bryson Jurgler with the bucket. And Jurgler will go to the line to shoot one here for Adam Central. A chance to extend the lead out to four. 640 left to go here in our second quarter. Russell checks out, and the sword checks in here for him. Jurgler at the line to shoot two. Fouls called on Russell. That is his second. First free throw opportunity is up, and good there for Jurgler. That'll give him five on the night. Here on the other end, thrown off a defender. And Jurgler is going to come away. Pass up and transition. Neuenschwaner gets the lay in to go. And a timeout called here by Canterbury. We're going to step away here real quick. Come back here live. SummitCitySports.com.
This has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really we're back here live, SummitCitySports.com here in our second quarter of action. Out of the timeout called by Canterbury, they will have possession down six here, seven, or excuse me, 618 left to go here in our second quarter of action. The store is going to inbound here for the Cavs. Lewis will bring it up the floor. Lewis, they kick far side around the perimeter. Nassour dribbles baseline there, has it knocked away. Brown with the steal. The kick ahead here up the floor. That is Tester with it. He looks down low there to Poling. Excuse me, that was Schultz. Jurgler here with it. They skip far side, get it around here to Neuenschwander. Look down low, thrown off the face there, but able to maintain possession was Brown. Neuenschwander dribbles down low, leaves it off there, and a travel is going to be called there on Adam Central. Possession will go here to Canterbury. Six-point lead for Adam Central. 5.35 left to go here in our second quarter of action. Lewis is going to bring it here for the Cavs. Skips here near side, and that's Schlobach with it. Back to Lewis. Back up top here. Three ball on the way from Schlobach is no good. Rebound battled for... And Schultz comes away with it, and a foul is going to be called on Canterbury. Nassour is going to pick up the foul. That'll be the team's fifth, and that'll be his first. Brown will inbound here for the Flying Jets. McClure leaves it off here. That is Schultz. Claire in the corner here, and a timeout is called by Adam Central. 30 second one, we'll step away here real quick. SummitCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. You're good at making big announcements. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com. Adam Central here with possession. That's Brown with it at the top of the key. The bucket there. Is good by McClure. Extends the lead. Out to eight. Lewis here near side. Back to Lewis. He'll have it at the top of the key. Move around his defender. Leave it off down low. Nassour goes up and gets the bucket. So now Adam Central. Oh, Nassour on the deflection there. Great defensive play. There by Nassour. But possession will stay here with Adam Central. 420 left to go. Here in our second quarter. Six point lead here for the Flying Jets. Cam Brown. They skip here near side. Back up top McClure. Over to Brown. In the corner there, that's Ethan Brown. Nice ball movement here around the top of the perimeter by Adam Central. They skip far side. They're skipping around the top of the perimeter. And a wide open three here. No good. There by McClure. But the rebound maintained. And Schultz goes up and gets the bucket. So Schultz playing very well off the bench 
here so far tonight for Adam Central as they are out to an eight point lead. Canterbury able to maintain possession. Nursor with a nice look there. Jumper just short for number 21 in the line Pasolich. And possession is going to go to Adam Central. Bryson Yergler, Ryan Tesler, and Nick Lewinswanner all check back in here for Adam Central. 328 left to go here in our second quarter. McClure's going to bring it. A look for the handoff there. And Yergler able to maintain it. Back to McClure. Get it up top there. Lewinswanner. Far side wing. That is Yergler with it. Back up top here. Trying to work around his defender. There's McClure, but great defensive play there by Lewis on the defense. Out of bounds possession. We'll stay here with Adam Central. Dribble and down low. Oh, no shot. Called. They're going to call it on the floor. As dribbling in hard on his defender was Bryson Yergler. And the foul is going to be called on Canterbury. It's going to be called on Eli Pasolich, number 21, for Canterbury. That is his first. New and Schwander, the handoff here. McClure with it now, far side. He'll have it here at the far side wing. McClure will just move around his defender, try to leave it off there to pulling. Off of a foot there, and possession will stay here with Adam Central. We're going to inbound down here in front of us. Here live from our broadcast booth here at Bluffton High School. Shout out to Athletic Director and Steve Thompson, an outstanding host here out of Bluffton. That's pulling on the handoff here. That is McClure with it. McClure back here near side in the corner. Yergler dribbles down low. Skips far side there. That is Tester. A look down low to pulling. Pulling could move around his defender. Kicks out. They try to leave it off there outside. And out of bounds. Possession is going to stay here with Adam Central. Moving around their defender. They kick it here in the corner. Three ball from Neuenschwander on the way. It's no good. But Adam Central maintaining offensive rebounds and keeping it here. Uh, as this has been about a two or three minute possession here for Adam Central. And a foul is going to be called on Canterbury. And that will put them to the line as that is the seventh team foul on the Cavs. So Nick Neuenschwander is going to go to the line to shoot one and one here for Adam Central. New inch wanders, first free throw is up and gets it to go. Makes it a nine point lead here for the Jets. Second free throw up and hits it to go. 10 point lead for Adam Central. Schultz checks back in here for Adam Central. Lewis will bring it up the floor. Here for Canterbury. Looks like a 2-3 zone being ran here by the Flying Jets. Lewis, far side there. Back here near side to Lewis. He'll dribble in at the free throw line and bring it back out here for the Cavs. 150 left to go here in our second quarter. And a foul from behind. It's going to fall on to number three and Bryson Yergler. That'll be the team's fourth and his second. So the Canterbury will inbound in front of the bench. Lewis will have it here now. Far side wing. That is Schulbach with it. Lewis here with it now near side wing. He'll have it stuck at the free throw line. Tried to find a teammate inside there and Pasolich. Tied up here. Jump ball is going to be called. Possession will stay here with the Caps. 139 left to go. Here we're in our second quarter of action. Canterbury inbound here. That was wide open. Took one dribble down low. Was partially blocked there by a pass switch. And they're not going to call the foul. They're going to call an out of bounds on Canterbury. And possession will go to Adam Central. 1.30 left to go here in our second quarter. And a foul is going to be called there on the Cavs. It's going to be on number 21 in Eli Passlich. That'll be the team's eighth. 
And we got a warning, I believe, called here on the Canterbury coach as hitting the first of free throws there was number 14 in Ethan Brown. I'll have a shot at another one here for Adam Central. 11 point lead for the Jets. Second free throw is up and gets it to go. Lewis will bring it up the floor here for the Cavs. Lewis with it now here at the top of the key. They skip far side. Back here down low, up top to Lewis. He'll pull up from deep, can't get it to go. Rebound comes down, and Tester pushes up the floor here for the Flying Jets. Tester here with it. Nice find there over top, down low, getting the bucket. That was Isaac Schultz on the score. Schultz having an outstanding game coming off the bench here for Adam Central. From my count, already has 12 on the night here for AC. And we got a foul called down low. And a timeout called by Canterbury. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll step away here real quick. Come back here live. SummitCitySports.com. Here live, SummitCitySports.com here from Bluffton High School, Class 2A, sectional number 36. The winner is going to move on to play the Blackhawk Christian Braves here in the sectional championship. That'll take place tomorrow evening, 7.30 p.m. start as Blackhawk just defeated Whitco. On the inbound here, Canterbury with possession, down low, getting the buckets to go. That was number five, and Luke Schulbacher there on the score. So I see with possession. And couldn't get the lay in to go there on the floater. Good number 11. There for Adam Central and McClure. And a travel is going to be called on Canterbury. Possession will stay here with AC. 17 and a half seconds left to go here in our second quarter. 12 point lead for Adam Central. And a bunch of substitutions being made as each team made two substitutions. I believe they're trying to get some height in here as 17 seconds only left to play here in our second quarter. Then bound here. Up top, that is going to be Yergler with it. He'll have it. 10 seconds left to go here in our second quarter. Yergler guarded by Nersor. Yergler took one dribble. Tied up here. Canterbury comes away with possession. Lewis is going to bring it up the floor here for the Caps. Lewis with it. Down low. Ooh, couldn't get the end one opportunity. But Lewis is going to go to the line to shoot two here for Canterbury. Chance to cut the lead down to 10. Lewis is going to shoot two here for the Caps. Devin Lewis, as I mentioned, had 22 points in the first game. Here for Canterbury. Couldn't get the first free throw to go there. Lewis, from my count, has nine on the night here for Canterbury. Lewis, second free throw is up and good. Adam Central comes away with possession. 11, 
Can't get the shot to go there, and that'll be our halftime score. Adam Central up to an 11-point lead, 29-18. We'll step away and come back here with some halftime stats and analysis here live on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSN Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip.
Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in I cryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for I cryo. We're back here live from Bluffton High School. SummitCitySports.com are bringing you this live broadcast. Class 2A sectional number 36 champ, or excuse me, semi-final game. Adam Central up on Canterbury 29 to 18 hour halftime break. We're going to go ahead and run down the scoring here from both squads. First for the Canterbury Cavaliers finished the first half with 18 points. Number 0, Devin Lewis finished with 8. Number 3, and Adam Nassour with four. Number five, Will, or excuse me, number two, Will Russell with two. And number five, and Luke Schlaublock with four. There for Canterbury. For Adam Central, number three, Bryson Yergler finished with five. Number four, Nick Newman Schwander finished with eight on the first half. Number 14, Ethan Brown with two. And number 22, Isaac Schultz leading all scores with a 10. And our number 25, Ethan Poling with four there for the Flying Jets. The winner will move on to take on Blackhawk Christian in the sectional championship tomorrow evening as they defeated Whitco 71-35 to to advance to the sectional championship tomorrow evening, 7.30 p.m. And you can see that stream live here on IHSATV.org and SummitCitySports.com. We're going to go ahead and run down some of our sponsors and pay some bills here at our halftime break. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our lab events as they do happen. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast City in the area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a friendly family environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is India's number one automotive group. Visit Kelly Automotive Group's brand new lo automobile location off of I-69 and Illinois Road. Conveniently located on Grand National Boulevard next to Menards, or Grand National Drive that is next to Menards. See the seven new facilities all in one and visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Steele Tires have been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join ProFed Curry and where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. Well, the contract you invest in our customers by providing peace of mind to the entire process from bid to build. Visit OnTheMillerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and built the highest volleyball ball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heater Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. I cryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, and for atomic conversion delivery services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Seal Cleaning and Restoration providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including gender-to-rail water damage and state-of-the-art disinfection. 
throughout the Northeast Indiana area. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We are the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more by visiting parkviewsportsmedicine.com. We're going to step away here one more time, but before we begin, our second half of action will be back here live, summitcitysports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. Adam Central will start the third quarter with possession. Here to begin our second half of action. 16 minutes away from seeing who will advance to the sectional championship tomorrow night against the Blackhawk Christian Braves. Head coach Mark Davidson and the Blackhawk Christian coaching staff just right behind me scouting this game here tonight live here from Bluffton High School. Shout out to athletic director and Steve Thompson, an outstanding host here at Bluffton High School. So Adam Central here with possession. They'll inbound here. That's McClure with it. McClure up the floor there to pulling. Back here far side. That is Brown with it. Ethan Brown that is. Had two points on the first half there for Adam Central. Up the floor pulling. Four points on the night. Had an outstanding first game with 18, or excuse me, with 28 there for Adam Central. has been quiet here tonight. And at number three, and Bryson Yergler goes up and draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two here for Adam Central. Fouls on number two and Xander Dressler. That'll be his second. And Yergler's first free throw can't get it to go. Looks like the referees are a little rushing this game. Want to get this game done and over with. They're moving pretty, pretty fast. As Yergler hits on the second free throw. Gives him nine on, or excuse me, gives him six on the night. And gives Adam Central the 12-point lead. Russell with it now. Far side wing. There for Canterbury. He'll get it here to Lewis. Back to Russell. In the corner there. That's Nosor. Up top, Russell here with it. Leaves it off here near side to Lewis. Lewis here with it. He'll dribble through defenders. Leave it outside to Russell. He'll put up the floater. Can't get it to go. Off of pulling last possession. We'll stay here with Canterbury. 12-point lead here for the Cavs. Nassar with the quick inbound here. They find Lewis outside. The three ball on the way is good there for Devin Lewis. Lewis hits the three there. That'll give him 11 on the night for Canterbury. Got to play some defense if you are the Cavs, if you want to stay into this game. And Lewis does immediately that with the poke from behind. And, oh, they're going to get a foul called there on Lewis. I thought he tied things up there, but that is not my call. The referees are on the floor. They have a better look at it than I do. So we will play on. Lewis picks up his second foul. That'll be the team's second of the half. Newitz Wander in the corner here, pulling three ball on the way. It's no good. Rebound comes down, and Canterbury will push the other way. And a foul. A hit from behind called on Adam Central. That'll be the team's first, and that foul will fall on number 14, Ethan Brown. That'll be his first of the game. Lewis will bring it up the floor here for Canterbury. He'll come up here to Russell, near side wing. Nasser on the cut there. And, oh, Nasser picks up his own rebound. I see the ball is look like tapped there out of the air, and the takeaway. Dressler bringing it the other way. Couldn't get the floater to go. And tied up here. And possession will stay here with Canterbury. Jump ball tied up. And Nasser comes down with it. The Cavs will maintain possession. Nasser will inbound here for the Cavs. Nasser is able to get it in there to Dressler. Up top, Russell with it now. Far side wing here for Canterbury. Lewis here with it now. Gets it out. Dressler thought about the three. One dribble pull up. Can't get it to go. Out of the hands of Nassour. Possession will go to Adam Central. Just flew. Nassour had it locked up in his hands. Just slipped that way. And Adam Central will have possession. A little diamond defense on the inbound there for Canterbury. And Adam Central will have possession. 
That is Brown with it. Gives it off here to Nuenschwander. Nuenschwander, spin move dribbles on his defender. Leaves it off there to Jurgler. Back out, three ball on the way from Nuenschwander is good there for Adam Central. And a timeout called quickly there by Adam Central. It's going to be a full one. We'll step away here real quick. Come back here live. SummitCitySports.com. You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. You're good at keeping the car clean. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. We're back here live, SummitCitySports.com. Here, Lewis will bring it up the floor for the Cavs. They're down 12, 515 left to go here in our third quarter of action. Russell with it now, far side wing. He'll bring it to the top of the key. Kicks here near side. That is Dressler with it. They go far side up top to Russell. Here in the corner, Dressler. Three ball on the way, just short. Rebound in and out of the hands there. Defensively by Ethan Brown. Possession will stay here with the Cavs. Five minutes now left here to go in our third quarter of action. Nassour and Bounce to get it up top. That's Dressler. He'll dribble into the lane, put up the floater. Can't get it to go. And they're going to keep it. Here will Canterbury as defensive opportunities being missed here by Adam Central. And the Cavs will maintain possession. They inbound here. That's Dressler. Up top there, that's Lewis. Trying to come back here near side. It's just Andrew Dressler. Missed him, and possession will go to Adam Central. 12-point lead. Noon Schwander will bring it up the floor here for AC. He'll get it across the half-court line. They'll leave it off. McClure up to pulling. Far side there. Three ball on the way there is good for Noon Schwander. Back-to-back threes. Nuenschwander with 14 points on the night here for Adam Central, and he is locked in here for the Flying Jets. Lewis on the other end, can't get it to go. No sword comes down with it. He'll go up, draw the M1, couldn't get it, and he'll go to the line to shoot two here for the Cavs. Foul's going to be called on at number 25, and Ethan pulling. That'll be pulling's first foul. He seems second, and No sword's going to go to the line to shoot two here for the Cavs. The source first free throw. Couldn't get it to flush. 15-point lead here for Adam Central. Second free throw off the back end of the iron. And Adam Central will push the other way. They go in the corner there. New and Schwander. He'll dribble baseline. Leave it off there to pulling. They'll skip all the way around far side. And back up top here, that's New and Schwander. He'll dribble down low, has it taken away from behind. Nassour comes away here with it. He'll get the lay in there for the Cavs. New and Schwander in the corner, three ball on the way. Just short, but an offensive rebound underneath. Pulling gets the bucket there for EC. Russell now here with it up top for Canterbury. But off here to Dressler. They go down low. That is Nassour with it. Nice leave off there. Could get the lane to go there. Could Xander Dressler. And a rebound comes down. Adam Central will push the four. Pulling with the handoff there. McClure will bring it up here for Adam Central. 15-point lead for the Flying Jets. 
McClure here with it now. He'll dribble to the top of the key and go far side. They hand off here and a nice find there. Down low, Neuenschwander just left it to pulling. Back here in the corner, Neuenschwander with it. He'll spin move, had it partially knocked away, but AC able to keep possession. Block there from behind. Possession will stay with the Flying Jets. 15 point lead here for them. 2.40 left to go here in our third quarter. And a one-legged jumper there is no good. Just short. Pulling comes down with the rebound. Still being battled for. Nersor finally comes away here with it for Canterbury. <laughs> Fouls called on Schultz. That'll be his first. The team's third. 2.30 left to go. We're in our third quarter. Lewis is going to bring it up the floor here for Canterbury. 15-point lead. The Cavs. Come here near side, Russell back to Lewis. He'll have it, three-pointer on the way from Lewis, can't get it to go, and rebound comes down, and Adam Central will push the other way. The look down low, they leave it off. Underneath, could get the lay in there, underneath, but pulling comes down with the board, and he'll flush it home there for Adam Central. Timeout called by Canterbury. We'll step away here real quick. Come back here live, SummitCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. We're back here live. SummitCitySports.com out of the timeout. Adam Central out to a 40 to 23 lead here over Canterbury. Third quarter of action. Canterbury will bring it. Lewis will bring it up the floor here for them. Two minutes left to go here in our third quarter. Lewis here near side to Russell. It's back up top there. Dressler to Russell. Russell will dribble baseline here. Can't get the lane to go. Polling comes down with the rebound here for Adam Central. Travels called there on Polling. And possession will stay here with the Cavs. Looked like a foul was committed there. They didn't get it called here underneath. And the Caps will take possession. Nassour will inbound here for Canterbury. They go up top there. Dressler look down low in the corner here. That is Dressler and the foul is drawn. No inbound here near side. Will the Caps. Nassour will inbound here for Canterbury. Gets it in here to Lewis. Lewis will triple around all four defenders. And a foul is going to be called from behind there on Adam Central. So back to back to back fouls called on AC. Foul is called on Tester. That is his first, the team's fifth. So Nassour inbounds here to Dressler. Leaves it off here to Lewis near side wing. 138 left to go. Here in our third quarter. Lewis with it now here up top for Canterbury. Far side there, Dressler. Up top here, that's Russell. Russell here with it now. Near side here, Lewis. Back over to Russell. Nice ball movement here by the Cavs. 115 left to go here in our third quarter. Lewis kicks here in the corner to Russell. Russell will bring it down the baseline and gets a lane to go. Well, Russell gets the bucket there for Canterbury. And a 15-point lead here for AC. One minute left to go. Back and forth man game here by Tester and McClure. 
And Tester will finally, or McClure will finally bring it to the other end. Here, near side wing gets a screen here, works around it. McClure here with it now. Guarded by Russell. Reached in there, did Russell. And a foul is going to be called on Canterbury. Canterbury fans wanted a five second call, just not enough. And Adam Central will inbound in front of their bench. Third foul called on Russell. Yergler will have it. They're far side wing, 30 seconds left to go. Russell will guard Yergler. He'll give it up here to McClure. McClure will have it there, far side wing for Adam Central. McClure with it now up top, 15 seconds. Lewis tried to take it away there, ball still on the floor, but Adam Central able to come away with it. And a foul is going to be called here on Canterbury as Jurgler trying to make a dribble move around his defender. And the end one, there it is. Good for Adam Central. Jurgler gets the bucket there for AC. And his free throw is up in good. And that'll be the end of our third quarter. So we're going to step away here and we'll come back live here on SummitCitySports.com. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like work for what I have. And I know I can like even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players, soccer. You look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You got to work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. The athletes is always. We're back here live, set to begin our fourth quarter of action. Polling's going to inbound here for Adam Central. He gets it in here to McClure. Underneath look there, down low. Could get the bucket there, could Schultz. Nassour with the floater there. That was partially blocked by pulling. And AC able to come away here with possession. They'll bring it up the floor. Jurgler here with it. Ends it off to McClure. McClure will have it here near side wing for Adam Central. They'll leave it off there to Jurgler. Jurgler moves around his defender. We'll take a hop step, can't get the lay in to go. Rebound comes down, Russell on the leak ahead. Nice find, a sword to Lewis. Block there by Schultz. And possession will stay, or excuse me, will go to Adam Central. 7.22 left to go here in our fourth quarter. 43-25, our score. Adam Central out to the lead. The free throw line jumper there is good by Ryan Tester. 20 point lead here for AC. Seven minutes left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Lewis with it up top. They get it here far side. And that was Lucas Austin just checked in the senior here for Adam Sen or excuse me, for Canterbury. He'll have it here now. Leave it down low. They tried to find Dressler here near side. Take it away. Adam Central will come the other way here with possession. Nice find down low. They leave it off in the corner. Back up top here, Jurgler with it. 
in a nice find there. Down low, couldn't get to lay in there. Could pulling, but he'll go to the line to shoot here for AC. Pulling will shoot two here for AC. Pullings first free throw is up and gets it to go. 21 point lead here for Adam Central. 6.30 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Pullings second free throw attempt is up and gets it to go. 22 point lead here for AC. 6.30 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Yep. Lewis comes here near side. They go in the quarter here to Russell. Russell will dribble baseline here. Gets around pulling. He'll hang and draw the animal free throws here for Canterbury. So Russell will shoot two here for the Cavs. Russell's first free throw is up and gets it to go. Second free throw up and gets it to go. 20 point lead here for Canterbury. The look down low, out of bounds. Possession will stay here with Adam Central. 20 point lead. Here for the Jets. The look down low, dribble in baseline here. That is New and Schwander with it. Has had an outstanding game here so far for Adam Central. New and Schwander here with it now, near side wing. And the bucket there is good for AC. 22 point lead here for the Flying Jets. Russell here with it near side. Dribble in baseline there, throws up the floater, can't get it to go. Can Slovakia will go to the line to shoot two? So Slovak will shoot two here for Canterbury. Second free throw, got it to go. New and Schwander here with it now. He's got 12 on the night here for AC. Up top, the look down low. Oh, couldn't get the lane to go there. Good Schultz, he has 10 on the night here for Adam Central. All oh, the look ahead just in and out of the hands there of Schlebach. 20 point lead here for Adam Central, they'll bring it. Five minutes left to go. Down low, New and Schwander hangs and gets the bucket. And that'll give him 14 on the night here for AC. Lewis comes here near side. Russell now with it up top here for the Cavs. Russell dribbles down low, can't get the way in to go. Jurgler on the bucket there for AC. Lewis down low, gets the land to go there for the Cavs. 23 point lead here for AC. And what do we got here? A foul, quickly. Schlebach picks up the foul there for Canterbury. And Nguyen Schwander will go to the line to shoot 
two here for Adam Central. Number 10 and Ryan Tesler, or excuse me, number 15 and Cam Brown and number 25 and Ethan Poling check in here for AC. Can get the free throw to go there for Adam Central. Could New and Schwander. So Canterbury will have possession. Russell will bring it. And a hold is going to be called. Russell will go to the line to shoot two here for Canterbury. Russell's first free throw is up, can't get it to go. And AC comes down with the rebound. They kick up top here. That is Tester with it. They skip underneath here, Brown. The look down low, Poling hangs, got it. Poling gets the bucket there for Adam Central. Gives them a 25 point lead, 320 left to go. Here in our fourth quarter. And Lewis hangs, can't get it to go. AC will bring it the other way. Three minutes left to go. The look down low, pulling in the corner. Jumper, long one is good there from Isaac Schultz. Gives him 12 on the night here for Adam Central. 27 point lead. Here for Canterbury, or excuse me, for AC. The three ball here from Schlafak is good there for the Cavs. Pulling, making it up the floor. Here near side, Neuenschwander in the corner. Back up top here, thrown away. Possession will go to Canterbury. And substitutions being made here for both squads. So clear in the benches are both squads here. Adam Central and Canterbury both. And Canterbury will bring the ball up the floor. As Paslich here with it. To look down low, Nassour couldn't get it to go. Still battling for the rebound. Ooh, can't hang. But Paslich ain't able to save it. And possession will go to Adam Central. 2.13 left here to go in our fourth quarter of action. Brown with it up the floor. They leave it down low. AC, three ball on the way, in and out. Rebound comes down. And Canterbury will push the other way. That is Passlich with it. The leave off, tied up. Passlich able to save it. And what do we got called here? A technical foul called on the bench. Yeah, technical foul called on Canterbury. So on the other end, at number 15, and Cam Brown will shoot here for AC. Brown hits there on the first free free throw here for Adam Central. Brown second off the front of the iron. And a 15 point lead here for AC. And a timeout called here by Canterbury. So we're going to step away here for 30 seconds. We'll come back here live, summitcitysports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. We're back 
here live from SummitCitySports.com here from Bluffton High School, sectional number 36, class 2A. As the winner of this one will move on to take on Blackhawk Christian as they defeated Whitco earlier, 71 to 35. Blackhawk, an outstanding favorite here for the state title and class 2A here in the state of Indiana as they have absolutely demolished teams here in the Bluffton sectional to start winning their first one against Manchester 70 to 39 and then just won their second game against Whitco 71 to 35 to move on to the sectional championship tomorrow night 7 30 p.m. start. And the three ball on the way there is no good. Rebound, battle four, and the bucket is good there for Adam Central. Canterbury will push it up the floor. They get it here in the corner. Try to leave it down low. Stolen away. Springer is going to bring it here for AC. They get it. Three ball on the way is good there by number 21 here for Adam Central. 30 point lead here for the Flying Jets. One minute left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. Triple in down low. Here are the Cavs. In the corner. Three ball on the way. Just short there for Luke Shali. And tied up here. Possession will stay here with the Cavs. And they'll go to the line to shoot two. Here will Canterbury. Lewis will shoot two here for the Cavs. 30-point lead here for Adam Central. First free throw is up. And gets it to go. Second free throw off the front of the iron. Rebound comes down. And no good there on the free throw. Rebound, battle four. And Canterbury will bring it the other way. Shot here in the corner is good there by number 32, the senior, and Lucas Austin. Well, and that'll be our final. So congratulations to the Adams Central Flying Jets. They move on to the sectional championship after defeating Canterbury 63 to 36. Your Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game is number four. And Nick Neuenschwander finished with eight. 14 on the night there for Adam Central. So congratulations to Adam Central. They defeat Canterbury 63 to 36. Your Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game, number four, Nick Neuenschwander with 14 nights there for the. Try that one more time for the highlight. Congratulations to the Adam Central Flying Jets. They defeat Canterbury 63 to 36 and move on to the sectional final. Your Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game, number four, Nick Neuenschwander with 14 on the night there for the Flying Jets. So Adam Central advances to the sectional championship tomorrow. They will take on the Blackhawk Christian Braves, 7.30 p.m. start. You can see that live here on IHSAATV.org, the IHSAA TV app. Or go ahead and go to our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and you can find it. the link there. I'll be also tweeting out the link. For my cameraman, Matt Jackson, this is Hunter Sosnheimer. You have been watching an Indiana High School basketball presentation presented to you live here by SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com.
I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands, so he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping, so preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball, so uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going, and so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas, so I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation, 
in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo.